Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Seam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install a standing seam. We will be releasing a new standing seam installation video weekly. Check out our Standing Seam Installation Series playlist. Link in the description or subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. In this video, we will cover bending and notching standing seam at eave end. Preparing and installing first panel, clip spacing and installation, and preparing and installing the last panel. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Yeah. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing. Where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Prior to installing your panels, you want to make sure your roof is clean of any dust and debris. Inspect the roof for any nails or objects that are protruding from the roof deck plane. For a detailed video on roof preparation and layout, click the link above. Standing seam panels have a different profile on each side. There is a male and female side. The left side of the panel, shown here, is the male side, which allows clips to be attached and fastened to your roof. The right side is the female leg, which clips onto the adjacent male panel. Bending and notching standing seam at eave end. Prior to installing your panels, you will need to prepare the eave side by notching and folding the panel by one inch. This will allow it to hook onto the joggle cleat or bull nose eave trim. In this section, we'll show you how it's done. Start by flipping your panel upside down. This makes cutting the panel easier. On the male side of the panel, cut a one inch notch along the seam. From the one inch notch, cut a 45 degree line across the side. A pro tip for cutting notches faster is to mark your metal cutting snips one inch from the tip. This way, you have a guide to cutting one inch notches without having to measure each time. On the female leg of the panel, make a straight cut down the outer hem one inch from the panel edge. Pull the tab downwards. Cut a one inch notch along the seam Fold the tab inwards 90 degrees. Cut the excess tab so it's flush with the high seam of the panel. Further trimming of this tab will take place after the panel is installed. Next, using a drip edge folding tool, bend the panel at the one inch notch. A hand seamer can be used to flatten out the fold. Installing first panel. Chances are, if you plan the layout of your panels, you will have to trim the width of your first and last panel. For a detailed video on panel layout, click the link above. Help support our channel by hitting the like button and subscribe. Panels can be cut down to custom widths by measuring the distance needed, starting from the male side of the panel. The first panel will have the female side cut down and turned up at a 90 degree bend. This will allow it to hook into the receiver trim, which will act like a floating clip and hold down the gable end side. By cutting the female side and keeping the male side will allow clips to be installed on the sheet The next panel will clip over and interlock with no additional special cutting till the very last sheet, which will be the opposite cut from the first sheet. When cutting a panel's width, you should snap a chalk line across the panel at the desired mark and trim the panel using metal cutting snips. When measuring out the width of your panel, you will need an additional one and a half inches. The additional one and a half inches will be folded to fit into the gable side receiver trim. There are various tools used to fold the one inch seam. We are using a Waco bender. 
the tool is simply adjusted to your desired depth. Then, roll the tool back and forth along the panel while gradually bending towards 90 degrees. It's best to roll the tool along the entire length of the panel as you slightly start to bend. Once the panel is ready, it simply slides into the receiver trim at the gable end and fastened with clips. Clips and panel fastening. The panel should be hooked onto the joggle cleat or bull nose eave trim and set in its desired position. A single pancake screw should be fastened onto the ridge side of the panel. This screw will temporarily prevent the panel from slipping down. Additional screws will be used to hold the panel during your ridge cap installation. Begin clipping your panel into place. Clips should start at a maximum of 8 to 10 inches from the edge of the standing seam sheet. We are using snap lock 1 and 5 8 inch clips. It is important to note that your exact spacing for your clip installation should be determined by an engineer. Spacing of clips will vary depending upon load requirements and local building codes. In this example, we are placing clips every three feet. Clips simply latch onto the male leg of the panel and are fastened with two pancake screws. Once your panel is fastened, the adjacent panel is installed by clipping the female leg onto the fastened panel's male leg. Prior to snapping in the adjacent panel, a bead of butyl sealant should be placed on the male leg one inch from the eave end. Then you repeat the clip fastening process. It's important to constantly reference your true squared lines to ensure your panels are going on straight. For a detailed video on how to square your panels, click the link above. Preparing and installing the last panel. Once you are on the last panel, you should measure the distance needed and add an inch and a half for a fold. For the last panel, you will be measuring from the female leg towards the male leg. The male leg will be cut off and prepare to fit into the gable receiver trim. The final panel simply slides into the receiver trim and snapped onto the adjacent panel. A single pancake screw is used on the ridge side of the roof to secure it from slipping. Additional screws will fasten the top side once the ridge cap is in place. For ridge cap, gable installation, and more, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel as we release new videos weekly. After all of the panels are installed, trim the tabs at the eave end. Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Looking for instructions on how to install gable trim? Check out these videos.